Hey, wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, wake up and play with me. There you are, Puddin. Did you have a good rest? <laughs> good. Anyways, I was hungry and I figured you might be too, so I went and got some breakfast to get you ready for the day. It's my favorite egg sandwich. Just the way I like it. Do you want some? Good. Now open your mouth and say, ah. There you go. Such a good boy. I'm so happy you're letting me feed you now. Well, you don't throw a big fuss when I try to feed you anymore. You've been so good lately. I'm really proud at how far you've come. Well, I mean, before you were uncooperative, to say the least. What do you mean, what do I mean? You were just, like, hostile. You said mean things to me. And you're kind of annoying. Oh, but you're not annoying anymore. Not so much. You're not like any of that now. You're super... Hmm. Docile? Nah, that's not the word. Hmm. I think you've been... Real well behaved. Yeah. You've been real well behaved recently. <gasps> you don't think so? Don't talk about yourself like that, Puddin. I think you're amazing. I mean, letting me feed ya, not trying to struggle, not screaming when I ungag ya. Don't talk trash about yourself like that, especially when it ain't true. I think you've genuinely been doing so good these last few weeks, Puddin. You've been so well behaved, and I want you to know that I've noticed these improvements. I appreciate them. I know there's still some work that needs to be done. That squishy little brain of yours. There's still some areas I need to spit in. <laughs> but soon enough, I think I'll be able to trust you enough to take you out of these ropes. Ain't that exciting? You'll be able to walk around the house freely, more independent, like a proper pet. What you think? Oh, Puddin, are you okay? You can talk to me, you know that right. I am a qualified therapist. You're just staring at the wall. You sure you're okay? Are you feeling sick? You're shaking your head, but you feel kind of sweaty. Well, what's wrong? <sighs> I mean, that wall can't be more interesting than your girlfriend, after all, right? Don't be so silly. Of course I'm your girlfriend. I take care of you. I keep you safe. I feed you. I love you. Oh, so you were just spacing out? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were going a little crazy. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you need to talk, I'm here. But if you say you're fine, you're fine. I know it must be hard to be stuck in one room all day, and I know your time at your new home ain't been pleasant, to say the least. I've been trying to make it as nice as I can. Listen. Hey, okay, I'm sorry about all this stuff I had to do to you. I know it must have been a little scary and kind of a little painful, but it's all in the past now, ain't it? And I promise if you keep up your good behavior, I won't ever do nothing like that to you again, okay? I promise. Unless you want me to. <laughs> Anyways, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, sorry, I went a little crazy and started ranting and forgot to feed you. Here, open your mouth again. 
delicious, ain't it? <laughs> You're nodding your head like such a good boy. That makes me happy. Ah. <sighs> I think you're so perfect. You have no idea how long I've dreamt of this moment. Of course, I've always dreamed of being able to feed you my favorite egg sandwich. I know that's a bit of a strange dream to have, but it's true. And it's not so hard to think like that, you know. Well, because you're so cute. You have no idea just how adorable I think you are. Puddin, are you spacing out again? You're giving me this dead, empty look. Can I tell you something? I love it so much more when you're like this. I mean, I've always loved you, but these past couple weeks have been exhilarating. Watching the hope die in your eyes and watching you slowly become more and more submissive has been wonderful. I don't think I've ever loved you more than right now, in this moment. <sighs> There's just something about you. Maybe it's your glazed eyes or the scars I've left on your body. Or the marks on your neck. But I think you're simply perfect. Yes, you're everything I could have ever hoped for. And now that you're complacent, our life together can really begin. The only part that's a little unappealing is, um... Can I be honest? I feel like you're not scared of me anymore. What upsets me? Of course it makes me sad, Puddin. More than you know. You see, I love you so much that I want to see every part of you. I want to see you smile. And I want to see you cry. I want to see you laugh. And I want to see you shake in fear. <laughs> I want to see you beg for more. And I want you to plead for me to stop. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Do I sound a little nuts? I'm not doing this because I hate you. I don't want you to be completely terrified of me either. All I really want to do is see every part of you. The good, the bad, everything. But if you're broken... Then how can I see all those lovely parts here? That just won't do. That won't do at all. And with my qualifications, I think I'm just the right person to fix you. I'm not exactly sure how to, though. Believe it or not, I'm not really a people person, so I'm not too sure how to go about this. What you mean? Well, the best way to go about squishing your brain back into the right order. My right order. Maybe the best way is to get you to feel fear again. Give you a really, really good reason to be afraid. I know my punishments don't really affect you anymore. You take so much of my special medicine all the time that you don't really feel it. And I've already physically tested you. You can withstand a decent bunch. But I bet your friends and your family can still feel your pain, can't they? <laughs> hmm? What was that? Ugh. You're right, I suppose. You have been super well behaved. And now I think about it, doing anything to your friends or your family could probably make you hate me more than be scared of me. And plus, if you hated me, I would probably go crazy. You really are the only thing that keeps me from going insane, do you know that? 
I think if I really began to try to play with your emotions in such a way, you'd probably just go deeper into that daisy state of yours. Your glazed over eyes. Your submissive behaviors. So I'll just wait until you're feeling like yourself again. And until then, you can just stay on your best behavior like you have been, okay? Do you promise to be good for me? <laughs> good boy! You must have been really hungry, huh? Your sandwich is all gone. So what do you want to do? I mean, we've got the whole day. How about I give you a reward for being so good? Yeah. We could go upstairs and watch some cartoons on my TV. Of course, you can lay in bed for a bit, stretch your legs. Don't look at me like that. I want to watch cartoons. I promise I won't do nothing else to you. I can just handcuff you and we'll take you upstairs and you can lie on the bed. Don't that sound fun? What do you mean you want to stay down here? What's so good about down here? You feel safe? Oh, Puddin, that makes me so happy. Well, I mean, I am super tired and I ain't gotten much sleep lately because I guess I've been a little paranoid that someone might come take you away from me. So I wanted to go upstairs to get some sleep, but I can sleep down here with you. Huh? Looking for you? Well... When there's a missing persons investigation, in the first three days, the cops are going to go looking for you. But after that, they're just looking for a body. So I doubt after all this time anyone's still looking for you that hard. Yeah, I'm sure they've probably given up by now. Oh, don't look so sad, Puddin'. That's what makes me different. I'm not like any of them. If you ever went missing, I'd spend my entire life searching for you. If anything ever happened to you, I would kill everybody and burn the world to the ground if it would bring you back to me and make you happy. They don't love you like I do. They never will. I hope you know that. No one will ever love you like I do. Puddin. You know what? It's fine. I'll stay down here with you. But I'm going to bring my TV because I want to watch cartoons. No, I don't need your help to grab it. It's not heavy. I've carried bodies heavier than that before. I'm pretty strong, remember? You stay here, Puddin, and I'll be back in a second. Are you going to behave for me while I'm gone? That's my good boy. I love you, Puddin, so much. You're never, ever going to leave me, right? You're going to stay with me forever? <laughs> Harley and Puddin, forever. It's a cute tattoo. <laughs> mm -hmm.